Hey there guys, my name is Jesse and welcome again to my channel. Today I'm going to be going to buy some uh, rare hardwoods here in Puerto Rico. I'm going to be heading over to Puerto Rico Hardwoods. Um, it's basically in the middle of a rainforest, so let's see what they have. So I'm really close to my destination and I started smelling like burnt brake pads. I didn't know it was me. Uh, started smelling like something was on fire. Luckily it wasn't, but I would see a whole bunch of smoke coming off just the brake pads. And that's not good. I'm gonna give it some time to rest cool off. In the meantime, just gonna take in the, the scenery. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. Hope that my brakes don't give way. I really hope not. I really hope I can get home safely. Let's see. I just finished uh, searching and purchasing the, the pieces that I wanted. I'll show you that in a bit, but I would like to show you guys uh, the way back. Uh, when I got here, I didn't, I wasn't sure that this was the way to enter this area, but you'll see what I mean in a little bit. civilization <laughs> okay now let's keep on going home so yeah there are a couple of stops in this uh, route that I wish I could show you guys I saw some very nice scenic views um, but I'm gonna have to leave that for a, a later episode so this is what I got I have some this very nice piece of maho uh, the, the people who i bought it from they do ship out to the states i'll put a link to their website if you guys are interested 
actually there was a shipment due uh, for some guy in Michigan. He spent like $2,000 on a whole pallet full of these boards. So it is, this is very, very nice color. And they come like in, in variants. Um, as you can see, it's not black uh, completely. Um, but once you do uh, apply some sort of finish, it does get darker. Uh, and when it's recently cut, it, it has like this very nice black shine, uh, almost also dark bluish gray. You will also get some variations where it has some uh, green in the center, which makes for some nice contrasts. I was about to buy one of those, but I didn't. Uh, right here is uh, Roble Blanco. Um, that's how we call it here in Puerto Rico, but it's, if I'm not mistaken, um, white oak. White oak. These three pieces are, are white oak. Uh, this is some, some Honduran uh, pine. Uh, he gave me this for free. So this is Acacia Procera. That's the scientific name. And the uh, maho is Hibiscus alatus. And the uh, white oak, well, at least I think it's called white oak in the in the U.S. It's Tibevia um, heterophila. heterophila. So I think I'm pretty much butchered the names, but this is what I got. Um, I spent $85 on these pieces right here. My haul is going to be uh, for a chair that I want to make. Uh, it's not going to be entirely made out of my haul, but uh, a piece of it is uh, the backrest and, and, the, and the seat is going to be made out of my haul pieces. And um, these, um, let's just call them white oak for the meantime, are going to be used for legs on the acacia to make a coffee table. So I'll show you guys how that ends up. I'll be showing you step by step what I'm going to do. And I hope you guys like it, okay? So be sure to leave a thumbs up. Let me know if this is something that you enjoy watching. And don't forget to comment. I also, you know, welcome criticism. Don't worry about that. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some trolls, but uh, you can't avoid them forever. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.